What's up YouTube? I'm just another guy and welcome back to my rise to fame. So here we are at the 11th of December 2021 and I've got myself a new job offer that I'm going to accept. Uh, it's been about a year and two months since I've left FC Latte and um, yeah what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and paint a picture of how you know my year and a half a year and a bit off of um, being a manager and you know what kind of opportunities arose. So Basically, well, as soon as I resigned, uh, there wasn't really many two jobs, you know, despite being... But we were still pretty early on in the season for most clubs, so I sort of waited. Uh, one of the first offers I actually had was to... Um, I think I might have had a, a um, interview, actually, or offered an interview at Blackpool, but I turned that down. They were newly promoted in the Prem, or I think they were bottom, or something like that. They weren't doing very well. Um, but, uh, yeah, the first real actual job offer that I had was from the Iranian um, national team. And uh, looking back at it now, I do kind of regret not trying to take it. Um, but the reason I didn't actually go for it and the reason I decided I'd um, reject it was because I felt that if I was going to go in for a, a club job, that me being an international manager would have a negative effect on that. And I didn't really want that. You know, I didn't really want to join a national team, have be there for a few months, and all of a sudden find the job I want uh, or the yeah, job in South Africa that I want it comes available. And the fact that I'm in an international job acts against me getting that, you know, acts against my chances of getting that job, but then I don't get it because of the international job. So I didn't want any of that, so I turned them down. Uh, since then as well, uh, very recently, in these very few recent months, um, I think in November actually, I had two job offers, one from, um, one from Switzerland, one from Poland. I've also had, uh, I think I might have had another one, did I? No, no, so those are all my international jobs. I've had a few over the spell um, of my off, of since um, losing, my, of since resigning from my job. At club level, like I say, every Premier League job that is sacked, I have had, um, I've been favourites or every lower Premier League team. So teams like Aston Villa struggling in the Prem, newly promoted teams, uh, Swansea, things like that. You know, teams that are decent sized, they've all said that I'm favourite to take over their jobs. None of them have offered me an interview. Um, but they've all said I'm, I'm, you know, I could get that. I've had a few teams from Finland come in and try and get me. That hasn't worked out. Another thing as well, FC Latti, the club, it's, it disintegrated. As soon as I left, Every key player in the squad was sold, and the club is now poor, very, very poor. I think they finished like eighth last season or something. It was shocking, absolutely shocking. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, what happened was I continued to go through, and I was going through, and I was going through, and I actually got to the end of the normal season. So, pretty much, you know, there's a big sack, big sackings at the end of the year, and um, nothing was available in South Africa that I was interested in. There was one team, I can't remember the name, but they weren't good enough for me. So I, I decided I wasn't even going to look at it. And um, yeah, I was like, I've been out of job now for about six months. I was like, <clears throat> do I want to do I want to go and try and get um, a job? So one thing I did do is I offered, I asked for an interview. I applied for the job at FC Copenhagen and they accepted me. We got a contract on the table and I turned them down. I was like... I was like, no, I don't want to do it. I'll wait a little bit longer to see if I can get that job in South Africa. One thing as well, as I also had a job interview at Chelsea. And, um, yeah, so, you know, the fact that I got a job interview, to me, was a massive, massive just achievement. <laughs> because I was sort of like, okay, so I'm in, I, it was in 2021 at this point. And I was like, okay, I'm in 2021, seven years after I started the game. And I've got a job interview at Chelsea. And, um... Another quick thing I want to mention, actually, is I've actually got a Continental Sea license. What I did is I asked for a Continental Sea license before I left FC Lati. Lati. Uh, they accepted it, and I was once I resigned from them, I was able to continue on the course. So I've now got a Continental Sea license. Um, but yeah, you know, I was like, I was like, um, oh man, the fact that I've got an interview is great. So I did all the interview process. I answered the questions, and um, basically, I didn't get a job. Uh, they uh, they decided to appoint Jose Mourinho, who had been sacked at the end of the 2016 season for a poor performance, or near the end of the season. He was sacked before the actual end. And he's been sacked yet again, Jose Mourinho. And um, that's where it leads me on to this, sort of. I'm, I'm about to accept a job at Chelsea. <laughs> six years, um, or roughly six years after I originally accepted. My, let's actually have a look at that. But yeah, so basically I didn't get any other job interview offers and stuff. Um, I continued to chug through. Like I said, there were loads of jobs available. Uh, no one really interested me apart from maybe, like I said, I either wanted to go to South Africa. I wanted to go to Chelsea, uh, but obviously I, Chelsea wasn't the thing. Chelsea was in the back of my mind. Every time it came available, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll have an apply. Uh, it only came available twice, obviously, and both times they offered me an interview, and this time I've actually got the job. So, yeah, it's just... 
you know, nothing else really um, fancy me. I knew I either wanted to go to South Africa, and I still do want to go to South Africa. I don't know how long this time at Chelsea is going to be. It's definitely not going to be I'm at Chelsea from this point on. Um, but I'm going to be at Chelsea for a while, hopefully turn them around because they're currently struggling, get them to a league where they can get them to a point where we can maybe win the league a few times and then look to move on and move to South Africa. Because despite the fact Chelsea are a very top team, I still want to achieve other things in this career. You know, I still want to go to South Africa and I still want to win the African Champions League. I want to win the Asian Champions League. I want to do the Pentagon, basically. Um, but opportunity has arisen where I can get the dream job and um, hopefully that's what I get. So... Um, yeah, like I said, just no other jobs were available. Um, I could obviously, I could have waited, and I could have turned down Chelsea, but that was that's just ridiculous. Why would I turn down Chelsea? And the reason I say I could have waited is because if I go to to, to the South African Premier League, um, as you can see, there's currently a job very insecure. It's FS Stars, but again, they're not a team I'm really interested in. But as you can see, Orlando Pirates are currently second, and Kaiser Chiefs all the way down in eighth place. And Kaiser Chiefs themselves have not won the league in three attempts. So um, I thought that was a that was a really um, Achievable job, you know, if I'd have waited, but I can't wait. You know, the things the things that have come up, you know, better things, better opportunities. Uh, another thing as well, actually, I should mention is uh, during my time off, I had a lot of Scottish jobs that come available and they actually approached me for an interview. Uh, Rangers, Hearts, Hibs, um, St. Mirren, I believe, were one of them. Dundee, I believe, were one of them. Dundee, I think, sacked uh, David Moyes and they came for me. Um, so, yeah, I, like I said, a lot of jobs have been available, but I'm absolutely chuffed to have been offered the chance at Chelsea, and I'm going to take it. We're at the Zola Arena. We're going to view the offer, and we're going to have a look at the squad. So, I've not been given the transfer budget. We're going to quickly have a look at that. I've not been given the transfer budget. It's only 54000 So, to me, that means Mourinho, who was here before me, must have spent a lot in the summer. But we've been given a little bit of a, a wage budget. So, um, I think, actually, no, we haven't been given a bit of a wage budget. We're actually just on the wage budget as well. So, I don't expect too many transfers. Maybe in January, we can offload a few people to bring a few people in. Uh, but we'll just have to reevaluate and evaluate the squad once we get there. So, as Voodie offer, £58,000 a week. <laughs> as a contrast to, I think I was picking up maybe 400, 500, 600, something like that. It's somewhere between 400 to maybe £700 a week whilst at FC Latti. Now, 58000 I'm here with a three-year contract and I'm going to accept that terms. I'm happy with that. I'm going to exit that talk. We're going to continue forward. And I'm going to officially start my first day managing in the Premier League and my first day managing Chelsea Football Club. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm baffled. I honest to God, I'm so shocked that I've been given this job. Um, so here we go. Look at that. Guy has been, enjoys a growing reputation within football and hopes that his appointment will take Chelsea onto bigger and better things. He has a non-playing roles with Tonga, FC Lati, Wuhan and Home United. I lifted, of course, I've lifted eight trophies in my very short time in management. Now, with staff and stuff, I'm not too sure what's going to be happening. Of course, I had that max e mass exodus once I left FC Lati. So I'm going to have a look at them, see if I can bring maybe a few of them into the side. Uh, but I do think, obviously... The quality between FC Lati and Chelsea, it, they're a world apart. So, staff quality is going to have to be a lot better. Um, but yeah, it's great. Let's get started in this meeting. So, obviously, I know the history. I'm a fan. Uh, that was part of the interview process. They said, yeah, as a fan, you feel you can handle the pressure. And I said, look, every bit of passion that I have for the club, I'll bring to the table and some. Uh, that was, I think, the exact words of the actual answer. Um, but yes, of course, I'll do in a, a press conference. Um... And okay, thanks. Thank you, Gregory Thing. So Steve Holland, still assistant manager here. I don't think he's going to be my assistant, though. Probably I could get better. Um, but yes, obviously, I'd love to see a report. Yes, I'd love to meet my backroom staff on a fortnightly basis. And thanks. That is all. Anything else I want you to do, I will um, tell you to do a bit later on. So we get to select our captain. Now, as you can see, John Stones is at the squad. Uh, Cesar Azpilicueta is still here as well. So we're just going to have a look, little look. Um, apparently, Azpilicueta is the better captain. But... Let's have a little look. I'm going to have a little look at the tactic. Uh, I say tactic. I'm going to have a little look at the... Um, what am I doing? Have a little look at the set. No, the captain, like that. Uh, I just want to have a look at the stats. Um, I do think Cesar Azpilicueta is the better captain. Uh, so, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that first. But I do think Azpilicueta is a better captain. And then, who do they say probably second? Eden Hazard. I'll say John Stones is probably a vice captain, but I do think Aspliqueta deserves to step up as a captain. So I'm just going to have a little. Um, I'm just going to change that around. Aspliqueta captain, John Stones vice captain. Uh, hopefully that won't cause too much uh, controversy. You know, I don't think that's a fair assessment of um, that. Yes, we're going to subscribe and unsubscribe to all of them things. 
And uh, of course, the Chelsea background. We know they've actually won the Champions League for a second time in the game. Um, I don't, I don't know what else. Well, let's have a look, let's have a little look and see what they've won actually. So of course they won the they, they won the Champions League for another time in 2017 actually. So that's quite a while ago. Um, but as you can see, as you can obviously blatantly see here, the club's on a bit of a decline. They currently finished fifth last year with 15th in the league table this so far this season. So it's my job to get Europa League football. That's all I've been told to get. So big pressure on me, but I'm sure I can handle it and I'm sure I can turn this club around. They're a big club, we are a big club, and we deserve to be a lot higher than we currently are. So the club has won the Euro Champions League since the game has started. Uh, also a runners-up in 2015. They won the Club World Cup in 2017. Um, what else? They won the, won the Barclays Premier League in 2018. We're runners-up in 2019 and we're third in 2020. And uh, what about the FA Cup? Nowhere in the FA Cup. Won a Capital One Cup last year in 2020. And um, the Community Shield, we've not won that under 18s is doing relatively well as well. So um, let me have a look at the competitions we're still in. So we're still in the Europa League. That was something I saw instantly there. Uh, we are still in the Europa League. The club finished. Um, the club finished top, and they've already. Um, they should know soon who we're going to be getting in the first knockout round. So hopefully we can do well in that. We're still in the FA Cup. We've got a massive game against our rivals Millwall coming up. Out of the Champions League, out of the Capital One Cup, sorry, and also of course the Premier League. We just need to get the club back on track so let's go back into the inbox and have a quick look at everything else so those are all the reviews of the competition i've already done that let's hold a team meeting and i just want to introduce myself and i'm just going to tell them just um calmly tell them that i think we can get uh europa league football i was hoping for more ambition you know what having gauged the reaction i've decided i'm not ambitious enough let's go on and uh, i'm gonna say passionately let's go on and qualify for the champions league Passionately, that's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. I don't care that a few of them acted back, reacted negatively, but as you can see, majority of the club or squad reacted positively. So that's good. And the key players, Hazard, Courtois, they reacted really well, and that's what we need to see. Um, so yeah, let's do my press conference as well. We'll do it on camera. Why not? I'm happy with it. Uh, so wait, do you feel your expectations after the season are fair and realistic? I'm very happy with the decision we're going in. Everyone at the club no wants to do the best. Nobody more so than me. The facilities are absolutely fantastic. Uh, no less than I expect. It's a dream I've dreamt of for a moment. Chelsea. Chelsea was the ultimate goal of this series. The fact that I can do it so early on is just... It's crazy. Uh, is it fair to say Chelsea have been struggling in the league so far this season? Obviously, the chairman felt it's time for a change at the top. Can you bring some... Can you bring... What can you bring different to the club? So, um, the last manager did some good work. Well, no. it's I, I've... I have my own ideas about football and should play at this level. And I'm looking to get the squad to playing my way. Uh, we'll be targeting competitions like Europa League early in your tenure. Uh, look, we want to be winning. Look, we want to be winning. It's ingrained in the culture of the club. So if that's if that's there to be won, we'll compete for it. That's honest. That's honest, God. We're going to be keep competing for everything we can possibly compete with. I said the champion, the Premier League is gone. Europa League, FA Cup. They're things we're going to want to win if we want to consider this a successful season. And plus that Europa League qualification, maybe even Champions League. You know, that's what the boys want. That's what the players want. That's what we're going to try and get. It's a big step up for you. Are you nervous? Um, I'm confident with my abilities at this level. Do you think that the next three fixtures represent a good chance for getting off to a good start? Let's have a little look at the next three fixtures. Tottenham, Man U and Fulham. So I've... <laughs> oh my God, that's a, that is a tough start. And in fact, my first game is tomorrow on Sunday. Um, I might live com that. In, a, in, an F, in the next video. <laughs> I might end this after in a bit. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, I'm not sure we're in the... Look, pff, it's always nice to get off to a winning start and I think we're capable of getting a result or two. I'm going to say that. So, yeah, Eden Hazard is our best player, obviously. Um, in order to evaluate your squad, the back room have gathered information in the entire playing squad and we'll do so on a regular basis. Okay, yeah, we already know what the team report is. But let's have a look at the team report. So... Courtois is our best goalkeeper, and we obviously knew that. Courtois is a fantastic goalkeeper. We have got um, John Stones, who can play right back, but I'll probably be looking for Cesar Azpilicueta to play there. I'm not too sure. I may push John Stones out there. Uh, we've got Tristan Ferreira, so another Ferreira in the Chelsea team. Looks like a very solid left-back and a young left-back, so he's someone I'm definitely going to be pushing through the team this season. Uh, John Stones is obviously, like I say, our, one of our best players in defence. Uh, but I'm probably playing push, play him at right back. I thought his natural position, John Stones, was centre-back. Uh, but it, apparently it's right back. So we're going to play him out there, I think. Uh, Subotic. Uh, um, Subotic. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Yeah, Subotic. Uh, he's 33, year old, 33 years of age. 31 million pound signing. Solid centre-back. Hopefully he'll be solid for me as well. And who else have we got? Adam Maurice. 
uh, English, American actually. Um, doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty decent. What's his report saying? Um, leading player for Premier League sides. So yeah, hopefully again we, you know, he can play well. He's actually looked pretty solid for us. So so far, uh, definitely going to be our starting centre back, I believe. Now, um, formation wise. Probably going to go with one up front. Looks like we lack a bit of quality up front. So one up front is probably going to be the way we're going to have to go. Um, we've got Alvaro Morata. 29 years of age. Looks pretty decent. Uh, probably overspent on him. 28.5 million. Probably not worth that. Although I don't know who the manager was at that time. We can have a look at that after. And Jean-Claude Caba. Um, young player. Probably going to be going with him. Uh, Vitesse used to loan him out. And yeah, not exactly a proven goal scorer. But we're going to go with him up front, I believe. And see what he can do, you know, chuck him in the deep end. In terms of attacking midfielders, you know, you know the quality that's already there. We've still got Oscar and we've still got a Hazard. Uh, probably going to go with Hazard out on the left. Maybe have to push Oscar out on the right. And in terms of the centre, it looks like we don't really have much quality. It seems like the centre of the park is the place we're going to have to want to improve. Uh, I'm seeing two defensive midfielders just out and out. And maybe even a centre mid, actually. So I think I've already know the formation I kind of want to play. Um... I'll quickly build a basic outline of it. But this guy looks good. Mbula, he looks like he could be a very nice player for us. Actually, but played very well last year. Uh, what sort of his role in the midfield? Deep line playmaker? I think that's something we can get to work. Um, but we do lack a little bit of quality in the centre of the park. And that's something we're going to have to improve upon. Uh, I do kind of want to play an advanced playmaker. So unless Thiago has got some great potential on the lad. Uh, he's not. It is actually the Thiago Thiago. I'm not a huge fan of that. I have to see what my choices are going to be there. And um, we've got James McCarthy, a decent defensive midfielder, 31 years of age, experienced in the Premier League. Um, spent a lot on him, but he's put in some cracking performances. So probably going to go with James McCarthy. We've got Victor Wanyama as well, although he'll probably be back up for me to start with. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the squad. Like I said, just need to, I think a few positions need to be strengthened, but to do that, we're going to have to sell. So... I don't think there's too much work needs to be done. I just think the squad needs a good manager. And surprisingly, like I say, we've had Jose Mourinho. I, I, there's not many better out there. So, I don't know. Although I do often find in football manager, Jose Mourinho seems to struggle at Chelsea. I, I don't ever really know why. He just never seems to stay there too long. Uh, but let's have a look at the managers that have been here since the game has started. So, of course, it starts off with Jose Mourinho. He was sacked on in February 2016, uh, having won uh, the Capital One Cup. Uh, clearly, his league performances were not good enough. After that, we went to Marcelo Biasa. Not too sure who this guy is. Where is where did he manage at before Chelsea? Uh, Napoli, Marseille, Atletico. So, he actually had some pretty decent record, but he could only last 10 months as he was sacked um, without really winning anything. But with a record that he had, 12 defeats at Chelsea is not really acceptable. Um, after that, we had a long-term manager at least, Gerardo um, Martino. He was... Um, he was also sacked. <laughs> Clearly, he didn't perform well enough. He actually won six cups and one league in being here, winning the Champions League and the Premier League. But uh, I don't know how his season had been going last year. I guess the fact that he finished fifth just wasn't considered good enough. And therefore, he had to go, which I do understand the reasoning. But someone that brought you so much success, you could surely allow one bad season. And with Jose Mourinho, he could only last 182 days. A very, very short spell at the club. But the record that he had, currently 15th in the league, you can completely understand the reasoning. So now it's my turn. My turn to step into the big shoes of managing Chelsea Football Club. I'm going to end this one here, lads. Um, next time I meet you back will be the very next day. It will be against Spurs. But I'm going to have to do a lot of stuff on camera and get the tactics sorted out. Get the players I want to be playing sorted out. Get those in the reserves and used in the right position and stuff like that. Hopefully just, just set up the squad to be pointing in the right direction that I want it to be. So until next time, guys. Peace out.